this is my plot clock I made it about a month ago and uh, I posted a couple of videos uh, the link is on the screen right now if you want to watch it uh, it's an excellent clock it's originally designed by Juru um, you can get the designs from uh, Thingiverse it's uh, it's it's an excellent clock the only problem with this clock is that it does not remember the time so if you turn it off and then turn it back on it starts with the default time which is already programmed into it so it always starts with the exact same time so in order to handle this problem what I did was I used this um, one shield it's a it's an Arduino shield it's a, actually it's an excellent shield it's made by uh, a bunch of uh, Egyptian engineers um, I really love this shield what it does is it takes my uh, phone and converts it into uh, an input and or output device for Arduino so all the sensors you know any kind of input device that your cell phone has like all the sensors all the you know the keyboard and and anything you know the touch anything that you can think of that this guy has you know accelerometer gyroscope they all can be accessed using the API that they provide for Arduino uh, on one shield so what it does is it connects the the phone with one shield over Bluetooth and then you can and then, then you run your an app on this uh, uh, this device so the app has a bunch of uh, you know a bunch of uh, sensors and input devices and output devices for your cell phone for example accelerometer a buzzer you know that would be an output device um, camera I don't know if you guys can see it so there's camera there is clock there's color detector and a whole bunch of and not only just that I mean you can have notifications sent so you can get the notification of if some some kind of event happened if the if you have made a water leak de detector for example and the detector senses water it can actually send you a notification so there's a whole bunch of um, um, kind of shields actually virtual shields as you may say for Arduino that you can make just out of just one shield here so what I've done is I've basically used um, a keyboard here which I can use to enter the information enter the current time the start time and I've changed the code here so that when it powers on it waits for the time to be read from the one shield you know the keyboard shield and I also created a terminal shield with, which basically where I am I'm, I'm outputting as to what's going on like what 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 time that it got as, as an input unfortunately you cannot see both of them at the same time so we will have to enter the time first and then we will have to go there to the terminal window and see what it says so let's check it out okay so I'm going to enter the time right now the sound that you can hear See, as soon as I enter the time, it basically moves on, and you can see here on the terminal shield, 11:23. That's what it got um, in ASCII. So, as you can see now, it's actually the time that it's writing is 11:23. So it started with the time that I input. So this way, if I power cycle it, I could basically reset the time to the current time, and it will continue to use it instead of every time when I have to start it, I have to basically reprogrammed Arduino with the beginning time well I hope you like this uh, I, I figured I would basically uh, document this uh, before I dismantle this project